If I was stranded on an island and the one dish I could choose to eat would probably be vegetable stir fry with tofu. I've been a vegetarian for two years and I try and eat healthy and I think I would crave that the most because it hit all the protein, the carbs, all of that. <laughs> well I think one of the most beautiful waves and yet the scariest at the same time would be in Tahiti at Chofu. Ah! It seems like such a challenge for, for all surfers. You see the best even struggle out there and you see them shine as well. So it's definitely, you know, that picture perfect wave with, you know, the lush green mountains in the background to everyone hanging out in the channel cheering on the surfers in the crystal clear blue water. It's life threatening and it's a challenge and hopefully one day I could get to that point to, to surf some of those waves. Definitely on a down day, you know, rainy day, flat day. Um, I think all of us girls love to shop. <laughs> and, um, you know, either like a good exercise in the morning just to get your day going and, you know, surfing as an athlete, you, you always want to, you know, be fit and, and keep that going. But I think the girls on our downtimes, we love shopping, especially in different countries. Um, there's so many different styles to embrace, and so that's always really fun. The performance of women surfing is going up and up and I think all of us are pushing each other and you know there's kind of a new standard that we need to perform at. You see you know girls like Carissa and that who are so powerful and fluid. You know you'll see Sally and Courtney who are just straight athletes. You know the girls are incorporating airs and tricks like that and it's great it pushes all of us and and I'm just really excited to be a part of it. Well, my extra hobby um, has to be a lot of photography. You really don't realize how lucky, you know, we are as surfers to see the different cultures. So to capture those moments and bring them home, you never take anything for granted and you really realize, you know, how much we do have here in America or in California. With photography, you're, you're never going to see that moment that you took that photo ever again. And so it's kind of like to, to go in the future and look back in time and, and just, you know, reminisce on those good times and the places that, you know, I've been. And, and it's just um, something very special you can share with your friends and your family and they can enjoy those without being, being at those places with you.